Hey everyone, welcome back to another rambling episode with yours truly, your host, me, Gildum. Oh man, I don't know how to do introductions. This is the best I got. Uh, so yeah, you know, this is a rambling episode for any of you new guys. This is where I just basically ventilate a lot of thoughts, ideas, things. Try not to let it burrow deep down inside my brain, so you know, I'm just like I can just let it go and move on with my life because you know, it, it's not healthy and it's good to actually kind of like go on with your life and stuff because then you get the positive self esteem and you can like make room for like new, new ideas, new thoughts, and who knows, other sorts of jazz. And that's good, you know, and uh, either way, I, I like to think it helps. I like to think it gives me some positive self-esteem, and that's what you want, man. That's the good stuff. Uh, but anyways, you know, any of y'alls that can relate and, like, kind of share thoughts and things, I kind of dig that, too. You know, it's it's great. It's awesome. I just got a message from Owl Flame. That, that's some pretty strange stuff right there. Uh, because Skype will do that sometimes on my computer. Uh, shout out to that guy. I'm not put a card here while I'm at it. I'm put another card to Chaz's Rad because uh, that guy just gave me a message on my uh, book face saying that like he liked my dinner. And I, I told him I would cook it for him sometimes. Or sometime if we ever visit. Which would be really interesting and awesome because, you know, he lives on the other side of the country. And, uh... I, I don't know, someone has to buy a plane ticket or make the a tr effort to travel to the other side, like across several states, to go get their dinner. I mean, it's not going to happen in one day, so it, it, it's a very strenuous adventure, but at the same time, I mean, if I go over there, I hope he has the equipment so that I can cook. If he comes over here, I mean, I don't know, I, I feel bad because he has to pay for a plane ticket. I digress, you know, the point is, it, it, like, I, I'll totally cook for my bro, because I, I love him, man, I love him, love him like a bro, no homo, he'll, he'll understand that, uh, if you watch my Warriors LP, like, you'll, you'll understand that too, oh man, do I have to put, like, another card here somewhere, you know, it's true, I'm not, you, you wanna go watch my Warriors Let's Play, you can go on my channel, you know, I'm just put two cards here for, like, those two guys, I digress, I feel like I have to do an explanation about like this whole setup. You see, I'm doing the game that you're seeing right now. That's Plants vs Zombies. It's it's an awesome game. I like it. There's a reason to it. I'll get into that in a second. Cause I gotta explain something else. You see, I was doing a game. Cause for these little segments, I like a little bit of consistency. It's what I do. Or it's what I try to do a little bit. Granted, for these rambling episodes, I could probably just throw up any sort of game. Anything that I'm feeling and just, like, call it good. Because, you know, it, it's really just, you know, me talking about whatever on somewhat of a weekly basis. Unless, of course, I get a friend. And then, of course, you know, we're just bouncing back ideas. But, hey, I have a lot of fun with it. And I think that's kind of what it's supposed to be about. Also, I try to, like, keep them semi-separate by, like, doing a different game when I'm, like, with someone else. If it's by myself, I try to have a little consistency. It doesn't always work out. But at the same time, I can't really help it. It is what it is. And uh, with Reboot, I was trying to actually get a little bit of consistency. You know, I was trying to, I was trying to actually play through the whole game, much like I did with Pikmin back at the beginning of the year. Because I mean, Pikmin, Pikmin is a fun game. I remember having a lot of fun with that when it came out back in like the early 2000s, and you know, playing that when I was in. I want to say high school probably was junior high though probably like eighth ninth grade so yeah probably probably ninth grade you know anyways uh yeah you know it came out for the gamecube pretty early on in the life cycle if i remember uh, it was like one of three games that were available i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure it was something like that i had fun i remember and i used to play it a lot in high school and uh so you know you just kind of you just kind of have a lot of fun memories and so, uh, you know, I had fun with that, and I just totally got off topic. 
I was trying to talk about reboot. I was trying to do what I did with Pikmin to reboot. I was trying to play through the whole entire game and then, like, I don't know, move on afterwards. But I ran into this glitch where the game would just freeze towards the end of level 4. And I show this in, like, my second episode of doing that. Granted, you know, I was still rambling on about what have you, so... <laughs> Make of that what you will, you know? The gameplay, not really the focus of the ch of these segments. I was gonna say channel, but let's be honest, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, yeah, you know, it's like... The focus is really just the commentary. The gameplay is just the icing on the cake, so it, I guess it's kind of a moot point, really, when you get down to it. But again, I like consistency. So, in a sense, it's like a let's play without actually being a let's play because, again, it's focused on the commentary where I'm just failing my thoughts. As such, you know, here I am talking about, like, issues that I had with doing Reboot. And I haven't even gone to the reason why I'm doing Plants vs. Zombies. I mean, sure, it's that I need another game to, like, put up here, but really... The thing that I'm trying to portray is that, like, with Reboot, I ran into this glitch and the game frozen. I mean, Grant, maybe that's all you really need to know, but no, there's more to it. You see, friend donated me this game, and I like the show Reboot. I liked it back in, like, you know, my preteen slash teenage years, because I would watch it on Cartoon Network, because they'd play it. And I had a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, it was really, it was really awesome. It was a good show. And they made a game, and I didn't know about this until my friend says something. Because the game is kind of obs obscure. It's a bit obscure, you know. And I don't think a lot of people know about it. Uh, granted, I'm pretty sure there's, there's, there's a group of people that know about it. There's, there's a, some percentage of people that know about it. I mean, you take enough people I mean there's a lot of people and I'm sure like someone has to have heard about it I didn't but I digress that's not important that's not what we got going on here what we got going on here is it's like Jesus Christ I can't play the game because the game would freeze so I figure okay if I get another copy of the game surely this will fix everything that that should be the solution to this problem it's it surely is the disc but it turns out it wasn't the disc. Because, you know, same issue. Boot up the save on the PS3. And the game freezes relatively the same area. Because, I mean, it, I tried making several attempts. I'd have various success, but I would never be able to actually complete level 4. Because it would freeze towards the end of it. And that sucks a lot. I was thinking, hey... It should be no big deal, you know, it's like, I do it, I do the thing, and I get done with it, and by the end of it, I can move on with my life, continue playing the game, it'll be awesome, you know, I figure it'd be a less play experience for the whole family, except it's not a less play, it's me valuing my thoughts, because apparently I can't distinguish a let's play and you know what not porn I don't, I don't really care about this thought too much what i care about is the fact that i can't really do the thing i can't like move past you know i like to make progress even if that's not the focus i want to make progress you know i want to show some sort of progression going on I, i'm a gamer you know i don't want to get stuck in a section otherwise it's dead to me but I do have some thoughts, I do have some ideas, you know, it's like, I've been hypothesizing as to why. And, you know, I might as well talk about that, you know, one possibility is that I'm really unlucky, you know, it's like, it, it's possible, right? You know, you win the lottery, except instead of actually feeling like you get something, you get, or I, I guess technically you get depression, right? Because you lose. That's what I'm trying to say, instead of winning, you lose. You lose bad. You, you got a second disc. You know, you got a second copy of the game. Turns out that bo that one's also bad. It has the same issue as the first one does. You know, they just, they stop. You know, it's possible, right? Very small chance of actually this happening. I, I can't even imagine. It has to be a very minuscule percent chance that this thing would actually have the same issue. But it's possible, right? Anything's possible. It's a number. It might be really small, but it, it, it's a possibility, right? So, I mean, could be could be the possibility I got going on. You know, I'm just really unlucky. Another thing is maybe the game 
as it is, is uncompletable, because, you know, maybe it was, like, just slapped together and it was a rush job, and because EA was behind the reins on that, you know, producing the game and just basically, like, deadline, 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 I don't know. I don't know how EA's quality control back then was, and maybe it was the same, well, maybe it was, like, similar to the issues they have now, or maybe it was something like that, I don't know. Again, obscure game, so who really cares, right? <laughs> Uh, it, it's possible. At least I like to think it's possible. I don't really know. But at the same time, I like to think, hey, maybe they didn't finish the game as it is, and so it just froze, and it's like, this is bullshit. How am I supposed to know that I got an unbeatable game? So, you know, maybe maybe that's a possibility. Maybe it's just that, like, they, they have they didn't like finish the bugs and stuff like that you know maybe they didn't weren't able to like fix up the coding and stuff like that so when I, when you get to this one section it, it can't render something or like it can't bring up code or it doesn't have code that it needs to like run at this one section so it freezes it soft locks or something it's a possibility i don't think it's the reason though i mean i i can't imagine that being the reason i mean it's possible but i don't think so it seems a little too obtuse and obs like not not viable. I, I feel like I feel like this game can't be beaten unless like the, the you know what I'm moving on. I don't want to think about it that much. I don't need to. Uh, so like another possibility that I, I thought about is like maybe maybe it's the PS3. Maybe it's because I'm playing it on PS3. I don't know how many games this happens to, but I know. That there's another game out there called Legend of the Gaia, which I hold very deeply in my heart because I love it. Oh, excuse me. I, I, have, I had to burp. Uh, I I hold Legend of the Gaia very deeply in my heart because I love that game. It's it's a fun game. It's a great game. Ten out of ten. Okay, maybe it's not that good, but I I, I do like it. It was a game for the PlayStation, and uh, it soft locks because of copyright protection at this one cutscene and it just freezes up and it sucks because you know I didn't know until I looked it up and that's apparently that's what happens it just it it can't do anything you get to the swan section it's pretty far into the game and then you're SOL and you just it feels painful it hurts because it's like how is I how am I supposed to do I, it's not like the PlayStation 2 where I can just like put in a PS1 memory card and transfer it back to my original PlayStation and pop in the game and play it there, you know? It, it just... What am I supposed to do with this situation? It sucks. So, yeah, it's like... I... I don't know. Maybe it's the PS3. Because despite the fact it's also a PlayStation, in fact, it's the third generation of PlayStation, and it's a PS3, and it's pretty legit, you know, it's made by Sony and everything like that, and you figure there shouldn't be any sort of issues with the backwards compatibility. Yeah, you know, it's like, apparently it's not legit enough, and the game doesn't register as being legit, and so it'll just softlock, and it's like, Legend of the Guy, no, you're so underrated. You could, you could have been amazing. The sequel was kind of lackluster, but, you know, I digress, you know. I'm, at some point, I do plan to let's play Legend of the Gaia, so um, I'll probably hook up my PlayStation. Uh, I have heard that it does work if you have, like, an old-school brick, like, PS2. One of the one of the original PS2s, you know, it's like the, the brick. Uh, I heard if you have one of those, uh, it, it'll work. But I'm not sure. I'm uncertain with that. But I do have a PlayStation, so it should be fine. Either way, it should be fine. I like to think it will be fine. <laughs> uh, I digress, you know, that's not the point. The point is, um, you know, I'll address that when the time comes. But I bring this up mainly because if I do that and I feel daring and, and confident and what have you, if I build up enough courage, maybe I'll actually attempt to try reboot, like just just play through the whole entire game again, try to get up to that point, see if I can make any progress, see if the game freezes up on me again, maybe, 
I don't know, it's kind of a tall order really when I get down to it and I don't really feel up to the challenge, but you know, anything's possible, right? Maybe if I get enough alcohol in my system, maybe it won't even matter at that point. Sure, the gameplay will be sloppy, but you know, hey, I'll, I'll actually be able to progress further into the game and I'll, I'll be happy enough to actually have it going on while I'm doing the commentary here for this. <laughs> So, you know, that, that I think that might also be a possibility. It would be something I wouldn't expect from a game like that. But then again, you know, I didn't expect it from a game like Legend of the Gaia because I was thinking, being so that the PS3 is pretty legit because it's a console from Sony, as is the PlayStation, I figure it shouldn't matter one bit, but apparently it does with that game, so I guess it's possible with Reboot. It, anything's possible is really what I'm getting at. And that's that's really all I have to say. I, I can't do reboot. I can't do it for this segment. At least not until I've exhausted all options. Which is basically just getting my PlayStation and hooking it up and doing that. Which is not going to be in the near future, let me tell you. I still I, I got things I got to do before I even get to that section. Maybe next year though. Maybe. You know, that's kind of in the mindset of what I got going on, so it, that's possible. But until then, yeah, I'm just, I'm not going to worry about it. It's not worth it, you know, it's like, I, I'm sorry I can't do reboot for this insignificant segment, which, you know, I feel like maybe two, three people may watch if I'm so lucky. You know, otherwise it's just going to fall into obscurity, much like I think the game of Reboot is. So, hey, double fitting, right? It's, it's, it, 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 there's the connection. I found it. But otherwise, I mean, it's, yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. On the other hand, this, we got Plants vs. Zombies. I haven't really talked about why, but, you know, I'll, yeah, I like Plants vs. Zombies. It's a fun game. It's a tower defense game. I enjoy it. I have fun. I would play the second one except it's like for like android and ios and what have you like phones and tablets and i don't really have a way to like record that stuff or at the very least i don't have the knowledge to do that grant i could do a google search but uh not really feeling up to it not with like the software i got grant i am trying to build a pc i'm trying to build my own computer so uh when I get that constructed, you know, it'll be a beast. At least what I got mapped out, it'll be a beast. And I got the motherboard, believe it or not, and that's pretty legit. You know, I'm, I'm already started. I'm already making things happen. And next year, I should have this thing all constructed, and it, it'll be great. And yeah, you know, I figure by then, anything's possible. Maybe I'll actually try to get, like, some sort of emulation, and I can get... A little bit of Plants vs. Zombies 2 action going on here on the channel, maybe. I don't know. I might do a follow-up with this, but... You know, that's not the reason why I'm doing Plants vs. Zombies. It's a fun game, but... You know, there's a reason for it. You see, get a little garden sometimes, you know. He, when he's inspired to, he will garden the shit out of some plants. And, like, if I'm... If I'm filling up to, you know... Here's some pictures. If there's no pictures, I must have forgotten to actually put them in in the editing part, but if I remember, I got some pictures to show you of my plants that I've been growing. And they've been they've been doing good and I've been making sure to like figure out how to do things and like feeding them nutrients because you know I want them to grow up big, strong, healthy, and I want a huge yield in the harvest. Cause, you know, I like I like to eat. Gilton's a big boy, he likes to eat, he cooks the food so that he can, uh, so that he can feel better about himself, because I, I like to cook sometimes, you know, I, I like to cook for people, it doesn't always work out as well, but then again, you know, I haven't really, my cooking skills have gone a little rusty, I need to get back into cooking, and what better way than to start gardening so you get fresh, beautiful ingredients that you grew, and you kind of have a little bit of self the sustainability. I had to, I had to think about how to pronounce that word because I can't pronounce words sometimes. I have trouble doing it. But yeah, you know, I like to, I like to cook and I like to grow things. I have a lot of fun doing both because it. 
I don't know, something about it feels rewarding on its own, and then it's like double rewarding when you can do both. And I'm excited, I got some seeds for next year. I I'm planning ahead already, but, uh, you know, I, I digress. Point is, you know, I've been gardening a little bit, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with the results, you know, it's still pretty early. This is about, like, I think a month and a half. Yeah, that feels about right, because I, I started pretty early last month. So, yeah, you know, what you're seeing is, is still pretty early. In fact, these, these pictures are a little outdated. They're from last week, as of recording. So, you know, they're, they're just a little bit bigger. I've actually put some of, put some of them in the ground because uh, they got so big and the roots were actually peeking out of the cups. So, it was like, it's time. They need, to, they need to be planted into the ground. They need to grow in the soil, the dirt. And I am thinking about getting into hydroponics, which is something that, you know, I think is really cool. And uh, I did, like, a Google search, and apparently there's a definition where it's like, you know, you use the nutrients. And uh, I think the one of the more defining things about, you know, like, hydroponics from what I read, a definition according to Google, is that you're not really growing with soil. You're growing with, like, I think it's water, or sand, or gravel, which... Sand and gravel, I think, is kind of interesting. I would try sand. If I ever go to the beach, which might happen next week, uh, which would be really cool. I, I, gotta ta I gotta talk to Spider Mikey. I gotta talk to that guy. Because uh, cause he's my pro. And I know we were talking about going to the beach at some point. And I've been giving him a lot of my extra sproutlings. Because when you plant things, and when you can germinate seeds... Because I, I can totally germinate seeds. I have this capability. And I grow my plants from seeds. So, you know, it's like I have fun doing that. Uh, it, it's a very rewarding thing to do. At least that's how I feel. So, yeah, you know, all the plants that I showed you, you know, it's like I, I grew those from seeds. I planted them into little jiffy pellets that are basically just peat moss. And they grew into sproutlings and then they started sprouting leaves and stuff like that and you know they the stalks got bigger and then it's like boom I have plants I don't have any tomatoes yet but at the same time I did get some lettuce kale uh, basil because I actually got to a sizable uh, size I don't know how else to phrase that that was really stupid killing <laughs> I digress uh, insulting me aside uh, yeah you know it's like I have a lot of fun planting things and you know I, I think to some level, that's why I kind of enjoy games like Plants vs. Zombies, I think. Uh, then again, it's just a fun game in general, so it, it might be regardless of whether or not you, you garden or not. I mean, I, I wouldn't think that that would be a defining reason. I think it's just like, hey, there's a connection here. I can kind of get behind this even more. But at the same time, like, gardening, I like gardening. It's a fun experience. It's rewarding. I can't have any pets where I live. So, I think gardening and growing plants is like a, a good surrogate to that. Mm. I think. I could be completely wrong, you know. Because animals and plants, they're, they're not quite the same thing. I only mean in terms of dependency and something that's actually living and organic and you're helping it grow. Uh, that, that's what I mean in similarity. Otherwise, you know, completely different topic. Completely different. I think trying to take care of a plant is significantly easier than trying to take care of any animal. Any sort of moving, living creature that you got and that relies on you. Like a cat or a dog. And speaking of which, if I could have a cat or a dog, and possibly both, I would. I would definitely go for the both, because I'm definitely an animal type of guy. I love animals. Are you kidding me? They're the best. Oh, Gillum is such an animal lover. It's it's not even it's not even funny. <sighs> Evo the Search for Eden is my favorite game. It's all, it's like number one on my list. Uh, but you know, Parasite Eve is also another favorite of mine. It's it's a good game. I enjoy that game. I have a lot of fun playing that game, and I do plan to do that sometime this year. Uh, of this year in terms of recording. If you're watching this like sometime later, then I guess it's irrelevant. It doesn't really matter too much now, does it? But hopefully I stick with this segment like up to that point and you know I can like keep on going and that would be amazing. I felt 
I feel awesome about that, but I digress. It's not important. What's important is that, you know, it's like, I, I, I like the game. I think it's very fitting for what I got going on. And, like, I've been thinking about, like, growing a lot in hydroponics. And that's something I really want to get into next year. Uh, because, you know, I, I don't have the equipment, which is really, like, the thing that I'm trying to get at. You know, I don't have the equipment to do hydroponics quite yet. I have the nutrients. That wasn't something I was planning on getting quite so quickly, but at the same time, uh, my tomatoes were starting to develop some purple coloration, which uh, apparently isn't good. At least not for tomatoes. Uh, purple coloration usually is a sign of uh, a lack of nutrients from what I learned. I mean, there's other reasons to it, like temperature, but it's... Uh, like temperature, um, not like bad soil. Uh, over water, over watering, I think, is also another sign. I could be wrong, but yeah, basically, purple coloration can usually be a warning sign that something is potentially wrong. Uh, also, I think it can be a sign that you got too much nutrients. I think. I could be wrong. I think usually when you have too many nutrients, like the leaves start, uh, start getting a little bit of a burn effect or something like that because uh if it too much of a good thing is usually bad that's how it works with plants so you overwire them they get they start dying you uh give them too many nutrients they start dying but at the same time if you balance it out right they grow huge and it's great and i love getting my plants to such an enormous size it makes me feel good and accomplished because, you know, it's like Gildam has empathy and he cares and he wants to make things grow and he wants something dependent and plants are kind of like that in one sense. And uh, I like cooking and I cooked dinner today and it was great. I had a, I brought out my walk and I just made myself a little bit of a stir fry with some kale and quo and vegetables and some chicken mixed up with like some seasonings and some soy sauce and it was great. It was great. So, you know, I, I, Gildum can cook. Gildum can cook. Not the best, but Gildum can cook. And the more I keep planning things, you know, the more I'm gonna be like, okay, what can I make with tomatoes? What can I make with some kale? What can I make with some lettuce? I mean, obviously salad, but it's like, what else can I make with some lettuce? And next year, I got some seeds, and I'm really excited because... I'm gonna try to grow a watermelon. I'm gonna try to use hydroponics to grow myself a watermelon, some pumpkins, so I can bake myself a pie. And I did check which kind of pumpkins you need to use in order to bake a pie, because the ones that you usually buy at the grocery store around Halloween are not good for that. But, you know, there are some pumpkins that obviously are fantastic for cooking with. Like the sugar, like the small sugar pumpkins, those those are the ones that you usually want to go with. And those are the ones that I got. So I'm going to use those to make myself a pumpkin pie, because oh, that's some good pie. I really like pumpkin pie. I'm not going to lie. There's no sugar coating that. But otherwise, I mean, yeah, it's just, it is what it is. So... I don't really know what else to say. I mean, that's kind of what I got going on. <laughs> I know, I just rambled on for about half an hour on, like, all these random thoughts and topics. Uh, I guess the only thing left I can say is I, I gotta I gotta go, like, record some parts for, like, next week. Uh, otherwise, I mean, I, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm trying to save up for, like, hydroponic stuff, and I'm trying to save up for, like, more computer parts. So that I can get both of those projects underway. Uh, hydroponics, I feel, is significantly cheaper than trying to build your own PC. But at the same time, I think things are going pretty well. I just need to get myself a light. Some, uh, a little bit of a setup going. And some of the equipment to do hydroponics. But otherwise, fairly good. Uh, totally not getting into weed. Not getting into pot. Because, you know, I, I, I don't feel comfortable with that stuff. Also, I feel like I'd get kicked out of where I'm living. Uh, that's not what I'm about. That's not what I try to do. I also don't like weed. Weed smells really bad. So, uh, yeah. Besides, I prefer my intoxication in liquid form via alcohol. So that, that's how I do that. But otherwise, I'm a head out. So, 
yeah, that I guess that was my closing statement. So next time, um, something I don't know. It might be a rambling or a hanging or a chilling, chilling with Gildum. It might be. I don't know. But either way, you guys have a fantastic day.